Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. This week I am your host, Ben, and I am, of course, joined by Bragg. Hello. No Jake for this one. Uh, he decided to run away cowardly up a mountain. Uh, um, he's going to look for Rainbow Dragon. Yes. In a bus stop near you. Yes. <laughs> this uh, randomly comes from a memory that me and Bragg had the other day where we were walking down the street on the way back from locals and someone had just... Bought a structure deck, ripped it open, taken the Rainbow Dragon, left everything behind, just on a bus stop. Ash Blossom, Imperm, all of it there. It's just all waiting. Rainbow Dragon. Jesse Rainbow Anderson, Dragon I hope you're beating Yubel, or losing to Yubel. I, don't, I can't really get my head around that arc. One of them. Whichever one he was supposed to do. GX, the third best of the animes. Yeah. 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 We're just saying something, because it sucks at times. Maybe fourth. Oh, you like Arc... Not Arc 5. I like Arc 5. You Rains. like Reigns. Yeah. I'm indifferent to Reigns. Yeah. Arc 5 is... Uh... Look, there's no Zexal. Zexal is always the worst. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can get... To, I even like, I even like Go Rush over the Zexal. And uh, this has been your Yu-Gi-Oh! anime tier list in a yeah. flash. Yeah. Um, following up from Locals today when we had to listen to someone give a Skylanders tier list. Oh. Just, I mean... If there's a place to happen, it is good games. Yeah. They, like, weren't quiet about it at all. They were just, like, top of their lungs talking and debating the quality of Skylanders. Uh, someone wanted to list Dark Spiral and they were told, no, variants aren't allowed. <sighs> I, there's so many times, <laughs> like, if, I ever, if I'm ever bored, you go to your local game store, just chill in the corner, maybe build your deck there, keep those ears open. You will hear yeah. some things. Infinitely entertaining. These are all things that are related to my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. But Bragg, how was your week in Yu-Gi-Oh? I uh, just grinding out Master Duel for the... Uh, I, I'm only on DL15 because I have been a bit lax. And also, I have definitely been timed out while swinging for lethal three times. <laughs> that is fine because I'm at DLV10 because I just keep forgetting to do it. Yeah, I, the ge- I, I've gotten a good portion of the gems, which is now like... It's outrageous. Having all those events back to back to back, I, they usually do spam events, mm. but it just, like, having 12k gems is ridiculous when I had zero not a few weeks ago. I just need to complete the battle pass. Yep. I got 10, 11 days to do it. Uh, I'm oh, at, like, 53. It'll be easier. Oh, oh, it's going to be easier for you. We'll get to that. Hopefully. Once again, when I'm run- like when I'm here, not running it. When I'm here, I'm always teasing. Don't know what that means. How about you? How did you go? Teasing. My week in Yu-Gi-Oh was fine enough. Um, I lost at locals on Tuesday, but I can't remember why or how or when. Was that the? Um, did Jake win that one? No, that was the week before. Oh. That was last Sunday. Jake won. Oh, I thought Tuesday night. Oh, I lost. Uh, Ethan time. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. You build time. Uh, much drama. Much, much drama. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. of course. New employee uh, decided to put 30 minutes on the clock instead of 45. Uh, me and Ethan both Wait. put in our time cards. He sees him, I sees mine. Uh, then Kurt tells us after we've packed up that uh, there's still like 15 minutes left and he was keeping his own timer. And we're like, ah, awesome. Uh, that is a, if, always keep an eye on the clock. Make sure that clock's rolling when your round starts. That was the thing. The clock said 45. Yeah. At some point, he put it down. Yeah. I was like, ah. Oh, Mate, again, that's awesome. thing, yeah, and you can't watch the clock that much. Like, you can look down and go, oh, shit, it's been 10 minutes when you look yep. up. Because, you know, this game can get intense. So yeah. that's a bit shitty. Never mind. Well, that's still a good PSA, but not something that's going to help you. Uh, yeah. Especially now, because, you know, it's you know seven days after. Yes. Five days after. Yeah. Uh, and then today, in possibly the shortest locals we've ever had, uh, it was just speed run to every game. It was like, done, done. Um, Any Tenpai players in the room? Uh, yeah, Tenpai won, which is a sign, no, of, like, a sign of short <laughs> locals. Um, yeah, I lost Chad. Uh, he was playing Voiceless Voice. Game one, I opened like double Vela, and he just went Branded Fusion, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. cool, I lose. Uh, and then Chad, game two, why are you playing Branded? Oh, game two, I got greedy, and I was like, I have the cross out. Ha 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 ha. Uh, like normal summon, or special summon witch, get mm. Vela'd, and then go... I've drawn my Vela crossout target. Awesome. Oh, no. Uh, so I played quite poorly. Um, turns out he had, like, bricked. 
he just had like double Ash Blossom, double Vela, Brain Infusion. Um, wow. So yeah, I could have, if I had just not been greedy, I would have won. Instead, I got greedy and lost. Uh, at which point, like, he just had the Lebellion and nothing else, or not the Lebellion, the Mirror Jade, nothing else. But everyone else was done by that point, so I just scooped. <laughs> yeah, yes. I was like, oh, we're the only people blank? I scoop. Off we go. Uh, it was like 15 minute round one. Uh, it was very short. We were out of there in like an hour and a half. Yeah. And that was four minute. That was four, four that was times. 45 minute rounds. No, um, shaved. Outside of actual locals, um, been playing a bit of Master Duel. Not a tremendous amount. By a, not a tremendous amount, probably like five games. Uh, undefeated in those five games, which is fine, but that'll happen when you're DLV 10. Um, and then, probably the biggest thing that I've been doing is today I've decided to sit down and break down Six Samurai, which is currently strewn about under the camera. Uh, going good. Yeah, I've, you seemed keen on it last week. Yeah, I have refined the list a lot, um, gotten a lot more comfortable with where and when to use the synchros, and I'm fairly happy. Um, Weirdly, I was playing it not FTK to be like, oh, I just won't play the FTK. But like, realistically, the FTK is one card difference in the main deck mm. and an extra one card you have to put in the extra deck. Um, so, yeah, it's got to be FTK. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, ultimately, the deck's going great. Uh, tip, there is uh, two card com the old two card combo that was guaranteed FTK is still two card combo guaranteed FTK. Mm. Um, or two and a half. You have to have a card to discard. Yeah. Uh, most three names will get you there. Mm. Uh, four names, as long as they're different, will guarantee you get there. Mm. Um, and yeah, overall, good deck. Uh, who would have known that if you ban a soul day, meaning you get to take out all of the equip spells, that gives you just room for hand traps. So you can play an FTK deck with 12 hand traps in it. Yeah. It's and, great. <laughs> and also, the the, the, the new... Well, the, you're, gonna have, you're running all six copies of the new cards uh, main deck three of the yep. level two two of the level three oh, okay and then yeah. one of the strike so yeah that that just seems of course the strike yeah strikes insane yeah um and then yeah playing one on one uh, currently in the extra deck for the synchros mm. the new guys um i might put the monster the gate to two um simply because sometimes you just kind of use it yeah use and it then you name, link it off and then you need it later um and it's just if you get hand trapped, you might then need to go back into it later. Yeah. Or it's always nice if you just leave it there. But ultimately, very happy with it. Probably going to do like a an early profile. Um, but yeah, overall, yeah. keen on seeing that. Yes. Yeah. Six samurai is Look, back. I'm and I'm kind of I'm glad. Like samurais are a big have been a big part of Yu-Gi-Oh's meta, and mm. they should come back every few years. Yeah. I am all in favor of this. Ah. Uh, Ha like having tested the deck, uh, probably a good thing that we don't have Savage and Baron anymore. Uh, uh, they mean, would be insane in that deck now that it has free summoning level three and level four and uh, level two tuners. I also had that thought uh, this week with Gen X. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you crack any of the Battles of Legend? None. Yeah. Uh, Tom opened two boxes. Uh, they will be on the channel. Uh, one box was significantly better than the other, which will go up probably before this episode. Maybe. See how I go with the edit. We'll see. We've got time on oh, this one. Yeah. I edited it last night and the filters were bad. I'm too picky. If you ever have any problem with that content on our channel, let me know because I hate most of it. Uh, yeah, his pulls were good and yeah, looked at all the Gen X cards and went, oh, I, I remember playing Gen X back, back in the day and the cards that I cut and threw away, apparently I need back. So I'm paying $5 for bloody supers from Hidden Arsenal 3. Ooh. What supers? Um, uh, oh, I actually have a bunch of Gen X. Just ah, uh, Gen X Magma. Around. Maybe. Yeah, it's. I, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, nah. This this isn't striking a bell. Like I was always yeah. in the water Gen X. It's a frog engine. I know specifically where it is. Yeah. So and using Gen X can like, it's just they look so cool and it just loops. It just goes like that new that new link is like so hilarious. It's bad, yes, but it can just pump out so many synchros. In my trying to find fabled Luris, I found a bunch of Gen X cards. Yeah. So, I'll well, have a look through. And when I was trying to find Gen X, I found a fabled Luri. Yes. <laughs> uh, which, oh yeah, I'm going to pick up that Fiendsmith stuff. That it is going to be cute. But, not initially cute. No Link 2 though. So, yeah, unless that's imported into the main set. Oh, I hope, I hope they go the full Performer Pal 
with it, where it's just like, nah, this, you're meant to be here, this is how the deck runs, in you go. They won't. There's absolutely no way. But they can sell another set with it. <laughs> we're still three weeks away from leaks, I think. Two, three? Yeah. I can't remember when the next main set is. It's the end, it's end of next month. Okay. Pre-release 23rd? Maybe? I uh, think the release is... Is the release 21st? So pre-release is 20th... Yeah, is 13th, 14th? Ah, Ooh, Infinite like. Forbidden on the official product page is... Oh, the 19th is 7th, so oh so my yeah, god. 13th, 14th, the sneak Yeah, peak. so we are two, two weeks away from... The sneak peek, so we are... Yes. Oh, God. I still have not currently pre-ordered a case because I am very scared that all the Exodia cards are going to be the high rarity and what I actually want is going to be like Ultras and Supers, at which point I've wasted a bunch of money in the case. Yeah. So I am not doing that. <laughs> yeah, some more information about that would be good. God, I'm keen for that. Mm. Uh, Surely yeah. they don't print all the Fiendsmith cards boxes, with high boxes. rarity. Oh, we also opened Spell Ruler yesterday. Yes, we had our Spell Ruler draft. Yeah. Um, we now have probably enough content to start producing yeah. the draft videos. Oh, yeah, I feel um, way more confident now I have a deck that plays cards. We <laughs> ultimately... So we've been doing this draft for a couple of months now, but there was a good month and a half gap between set two and set three. Yeah. So we haven't released the content yet, just yeah. so we didn't have a huge gap in the middle. Because if, if we uploaded those initial LOB draft decks versus each other... Yeah. Like it'll be like when we did the the first format, which even though those decks can work, these decks, nope, no. It's but now three sets in, and my god, equip spells and stuff like it. I'm still getting punished massively for my round my blue lob draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a oh. look. I saw I saw shit. So yeah. Um, some of the rituals and this was like, and crab turtle is back. Look out for Crab Turtle. I had to draft for Jesse in this event. His draft, his pulls are insane. I don't know why Crab Turtle didn't do enough back then. Obviously, it's a complete neg, but 50 more attack than summon skulls, kind of huge. But then you get Hain Hain bounced. Then you get Hain Hain bounced. Or you get Wall of Illusion bounced. Oh, did anyone pull Wall of Illusion? Nah. What do you do? But still. It existed back in the day. And yeah, one guaranteed one secret per box, which you'd almost rather be the Ultra. Because mm. it's like, oh, I'll, I'll, t I'll take no secrets in this box because... Toon Dragon, no Toon Worlds between two boxes. Nope. Rip Logan. <laughs> but I will. Uh, yeah, so we'll... Pro do we start that and then do Ferris Servant IOC as the second thing? Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're in national season. Moving on to news. Nice yes. and subtle. Moving on to news. <laughs> We're in national season. Uh, UK Nats. Uh, we watched a fair chunk of it on day two. Um, but I got pretty... Yeah, they had... It was too many dead spots. Despia branded won it out with the top... Let's go to the top 32. With, I don't even know who won that event. Uh... I had the name up. No, name like, I didn't know what one the event. Oh, like, yeah, in yeah. general, I just kind of didn't check. Uh, so, yeah, Brandon won that with representation in the top 32. Like, I was, and there was 10 10 pie in top 32, eight snake eyes. Well, I know it was Two Math Lab won, and I was like, oh, Math Lab made the top four. And I was like, yep. That's cool. Yep. Who would have known that the math card works if someone's good enough to run the numbers? I run the numbers, and now you are facing women in a labyrinth. Uh, then also the German Nats, Plant Links won with the top 32. The top 32 is way more diverse, with Snake Eyes topping the most representation at 11. Um, it seemed as though there wasn't a huge force of Snake Eyes amongst like the best players. Yeah. It definitely seemed as though everyone was just kind of like bored of it, and they're like, let's just play someone, something else. And... They aren't, like, it's still possible that top tier to win. Obviously, at a, a lower thing, like 200, like 200 decks getting 11 in top 32 is probably about on par for the the 2,000 jewels they had. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm... Like, something needs to be done about Snake Eyes, but I think something needs to be done about other decks as well. I don't think it's a Snake Eyes format solved. It no, is... we need to still, like we've been saying for the past almost a year now... We need to hit the other turn skippy floodgate cards. Yeah. Just to be safe. 
so that when we get rid of Snake Eyes, we aren't then all just having our turns skipped constantly. Yeah. Because that'll be a crap format. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's what they're going to do. They're just going to hit Wanted. It'll be Wanted, Ash. Surely they don't hit Wanted. Yeah, like, there is, there is product stuff to do, but... Yeah, just because, like, the Wanted you can use to sell other cards, other sets. That also then plays in the problem of if you hit original Sinful Spoils, mm. it does the same thing as Mazel to hit Wanted, because then the Wanted's not worth, like, using to get to that. Oh, yeah. I think they should take it out back and kill it with, like, Oak or Flamebush. And just be uh, like, no more playing straight Snake Eyes. You get the rest of this, though. Maybe just Ash. Ban Ash? Yeah. Yeah. And I then just, yeah, then you pop the Poplar Oak and all that stuff. You can still, like, I'll still play Snake Eyes. Still make it work. Yeah, I'll play Snake Eyes without Ash. Yeah. Because, I don't know. Yeah. It's still, it'll still do stuff, but my God. It, it will not be, be great. It'll be worse. But it's fair. Yeah. Uh, there'll be more Banless talk later. Uh, yes. A little bit of bandless talk now. Rush Jewels Rush Duels in Duel Links. In Duel Links. Uh, a lot of cards that are kind of irrelevant here, just kind of balancing the ship. But Ghost Cyclone, the uh, spell and trap removal if you have none, mm -hmm. uh, is being limited to three. So, so I mean, like every card that's good in that game is a yeah, three. So it's like irritating. And then the legendary negate attack is going to two. <laughs> Ugh. Which is like, I don't... I, I don't think I've even bought the Negate Attack bundle. So. I haven't... Oh, wait. They do bundles in that? Yeah. Yeah, in the shop, there's like a little bundle where you can just go... I need to do those. Yeah, I think Summon Skull's a bundle. Yep. Um, yeah. And the, it comes with a good number of packs as well. Like, I haven't felt shit buying them. Okay. But when they put one of them to two... If someone's just bought Negate Attack and then gone, oh, shit, now I can't run it along. Uh, the Ultra Shoot Hydrant from um, the Cyburst Dragons... Uh, that's been put to two as well. So if you're in all in on those Cybers Dragons, don't know why you would. You'll be sick. Uh, I hate them. I hate them. I'm just stashing my gems. Yep. Waiting for Seven Roads Fusion. <laughs> There'll like. come a day, a day when it's released and I'll be happy. I'll have enough yeah. gems for probably one booster box and that'll be it. <laughs> and then I'll be like, no, oh, didn't get it. Move on. Which is what we all should do. Uh, we'll reconvene on Rush Jewels in uh, Jewel Links in... Four months. Yes. <laughs> uh, on to Master Jewel news. The Special Regulation Jewels has been officially confirmed, announced uh, to 2010, November 13th. For OCG, which covers Storm of Ragnarok? It is not Edison. Yeah. That gives us X Sabers, and that gives us Six Ham. Yes. <laughs> um, it's OCG as well. I don't know when they got Dark Soul. No, Emma's Blade. Emma's Blade. Was the um, TCG exclusive? So they'll have um, they'll have Dark Soul. Yeah, I think from Shining. Yep. No, it can't have Shining. So we look. Because yeah, no Storm of Ragnarok. Yeah, no Shining was before Storm of Ragnarok. Yeah, it was. Yeah, because the next set after Edison is the set where we got um, not Fault Troll, um, Bog at Night. Yeah, and the others. Yeah. Yeah, meaning the next play. So that's going to be. I feel like that has Jewel Rev too. Yeah, Jewel's Revolution's in there too. That's going to have... This is a weird format to choose. Um, Wait, is Frog FTKs legal? Uh, Ronan Toten is... Ronan Toten is the same set as Bog at Night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and there was no TCG exclusives. Yeah, yeah. Frog FTK will be... Fully legal. Uh, Unless they had hit Substitute in the t OCG. Well... Did, they never rotted it, did driver? they? Or in the game? No, I didn't. No. Uh, I'm going to give it a crack, but <laughs> now it's not Edison. I'm a, a bit like, oh, this isn't what I was hyping myself up for. How many gems am I going to have to spend to play for a gift DK? <laughs> Stay off Twitter, people. It lies to you. Who's uh, match driver you are? <laughs> Scraps is in there. <laughs> OG Scraps. I won't play it because I remember how bad it was. <laughs> And now I'll be able to, you know, afford anything else. God, even Scrap Dragon was 50 bucks. It was such a dog shit. 
Neither here and now we have all his scrap dragons that are worth a penny. I, it, it says it goes up to the day. I went back and checked what they said for goat, and it include they they had set up to flaming eternity, I think, and that yep. they said that day. So I don't think it's a oh up until the day before storm of Ragnarok. So I think okay. it is going to include it. So it is going to be interesting. Uh, we're just all going to be playing samurai because that samurai deck was crazy. Do I already have all the samurai cards in? I don't think I do. Uh, and. Yeah, well, Shien, Kazan, like, second Kazan. Oh, second, like, mini Kazan is so good. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Actually, no, he, no, he's just Kazan, right? He's just Grandmaster later. Also a good card. Uh, right there, on the table. Good, good colouring as well. I would actually love a giant card of that. I'll take a giant card of any six samurai. We'll oh. trade Decode Talker. Come on. Nah, come on's actually kind of cool. Niche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you got she and Squire. You know, you got yeah. Oh god. Oh, definitely she and Squire. I love that little guy. That little monkey. Yeah. <laughs> this was like, how do we have samurai monkeys? I need to cut she and Squire from this deck. It's useless. In this. He's gonna cry. You make monkey sad. Yeah, it needs to go. I put it in there. Is it? Yeah, no, nah, it's it's garbage. Get rid of it. Uh, the event runs from the end of uh, WCQ through to June twenty eighth, two o'clock American time. Not our Wait, time. What day? What day does it start? Sorry. Uh, starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow, either. Yep. Okay. It it will already be live. Yes, at the point <laughs> of this podcast being released. <laughs> and yeah, it goes through to goes for four days. Four days. Is that worth using my URs for? Oh, probably. Considering I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go to town. I'm just gonna. If I just get all the six M's, I'll need them for later anyway. When we get the six M new cards. God, do I burn out trying to get to twenty, or do I just leave it and just then burn out playing this? Life's questions. Or do I? Because I just don't know how much Yu-Gi-Oh I have in me this week. We got Minecraft to do. Oh, man, be crafting. Oh, man, just be mining. <laughs> no crafting. <laughs> Okay. Uh, into OCG news, we have uh, Umi Reborn uh, being announced for Animation Chronicle. So we're almost surely we're done with cards in this set. We've had so many announced. Uh, you're going to use the first effect of this card once per turn. You can target one. That's a spell card, by the way. Yep. A continuous spell card. You can target one water monster in your graveyard with a thousand or less attack, special summon it, but destroy it during the end phase. Uh, yeah, and it has Umi in the name, so... Searchable? Yeah. I, I don't know why... Wait, is it Umi while... No, it's... The, no, just the, the name is uh, Umi Reborn or... Okay, okay. Umi of Regeneration. Yeah. So I was like, that'll be awkward. Yeah, because <laughs> most of the ones I've seen just go Umi and then the cards are named This Umi. card is always treated as Umi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think... So it might not be searchable. Okay. But also... But it's a continuous reborn, like... Is it, it's, a, it's a continuous spell. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's called Got Umi in the name, so... Yeah. That, yeah. Like, look, you could have done... A thousand or less is pretty open in water decks. I yeah, appreciate being able to use it. Yeah, yeah, but also, a lot of the good cards in the Umi deck are above a thousand. Yeah. And also, just another card that we probably should have had ten years ago. Like... Yep. It's a hard one to turn. Make it 10 years ago and have it not be hard once per turn. Yeah. Reborn, 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 bounce, reborn, yeah, reborn, Delorean reborn. Bounce. Oh yeah, I've got, to get, I've got to pick up Delorean for Gen X as well. Because I'm pretty sure... I think i ones. Delorean somewhere. It was reprinted as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Not in this for some reason. Nice barriers all in there. Yeah, they're, the Battles of Legend. Terminal Revenge. That... We covered that set list, but my god. It's pretty mid... Yeah, it... There's times where it's like, this is great, and times where it's like, this is bad. Like, a bad box of that set is horrendous. I feel like it could have stayed in the brief of just giving the three main archetypes of the Terminal world more, like, the rest of the cards they would ever need, and not just going with random... Well, it's a battle's a legend. you got to import all the random OCG jank, like the Toy Oh, yeah, stuff. yeah, oh, yeah, the random imports are okay. It's just, like, Scrap Goblin, for a better example. Hmm. Like, I get why it needed a holo reprint. Me. I get it. But in this set, taking up a slot, eh. But given OTS super. 
Uh, so, I mean, we're probably going to see this in another Crazy Battles Legend, because that's what the Animation Chronicles usually become, yeah? They yeah. get rolled into that, and then nothing else. Well, recently, I think they've been our, like, December reprint set. So, like, oh, Mavens yep, yep. and yep. that oh, stuff. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. I didn't mind those cardboard boxes. They're bad. If there were more packs in them, I would love them. Oh, yeah. But never. No. But never. Okay, we are back uh, uh, for a slight interlude. Yeah, I uh, don't know what happened there. It was weird. Yeah, that was a uh, that was definitely strange. I definitely didn't consider getting dressed in pajamas. Uh, but it is time for the OCG ban list. Uh, except the YGO.jp website is currently down. Uh, so just try a couple of different ways to get this live here. Oh. Um, Bragg potentially has something over there no. going on. No? No, the link they posted does no worky. Like, it's broken on Twitter as well. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Um, let's just check the hashtag. Whoop. <laughs> no. Uh, the er the error message is quite possibly one of the best error messages. <laughs> oh sweet Jesus! Just, <laughs> just a dog. <clears throat> lucky my um, lucky my Twitter recommended is better than a certain duelist's friends. Um. What if the OCG didn't have a ban list at all? What if they just dropped it and didn't... Remember how... Because they did this because they were having issues with people when it was about time for the ban list. They'd go to their website and just hit refresh constantly. And it's, now that they give a time, the website just crashes when it's time for the ban list to drop. It, um... Look, it's this thing at the popularity. Yeah. Also, like, to be fair, I was on the website before... And it is not a very well-coded website. It is not. It, it's a very Japanese website. Um, yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, my God. Just keep hitting F5. Refresh, refresh. We've definitely done this before, haven't we? Yeah, the same thing's happened last time we did the OCG ban list live. Uh, so, whilst we are... Whilst we stall for this to load, Bragg. Yes. Any last second predictions? Um, I'm not sure if I said it out loud, but Beatrice. Yes. Uh, like, taming that Fiendsmith stuff because it's... Yubel's guy, everything's running Fiendsmith, which it probably should. It's really good. But really good. Let's just leave, just sit on Caesar King. Like, that's fine. Beatrice, like, if Laval Volchain's banned... Laval Volchain is banned... Beatrice probably should be banned. But Lavarval Chain should come back to one. Look, if they just full send it and go, okay, how about everyone gets access to any engine ever? New update. The server is no longer responding. <laughs> hmm. Uh, this I, hashtag is cursed. I think this is going to be like Scorched Earth for, um, Scorched Earth for Snake Eyes. Yeah, like the final bullets to the head. Put yeah. out of its misery. Here we go. Oh, are you loading over there? Here oh, we go. Oh. Here we go. I've got, I've got a page loading. <laughs> I've got a page loading. That's it's, a bit of something it, something. It loaded a white page. Oh, no. The oh. white page did not, uh, did not change the suspense. The suspense. Ah, here we go. Oh, you've loaded? <clears throat> uh... Da, 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 da. So, this is weird, that perform age thing is there, which, oh, also my pretty easy prediction is that perform age flush fire coming back. Mm. <clears throat> oh my lord. Did it work for you? Uh, yeah, but... I can just guess what those says. Actually, let's try. Ah, oh, you got like a... Yeah. Okay. Well... From the get-go, Catapult Turtle and Kaiser Coliseum have been banned, I'm going to say. Why did 
they've been a catapult turtle. They've been they've been in catapult turtle for six samurai FTK. They must know. Like, I get it. Have they banned all the other burners? Is it? And Kaiser calls them had to go. Had to go. Yes. The fact that it was still legal is pretty stupid. Um, okay, trying to try OCG website number two. That is not working. Historic ban lists. Not working. They have two different websites and neither of them is working. Um, Perform Mage plus Fire is going to one. Okay. Ah, here we go. Uh, let's refresh this one more time. Why your organization has not posted a ban list article? Maybe they also cannot get through. Uh-huh. There's a lot of cars on this page. The suspense. This brag tries to translate. Yeah, because the formatting's all off, so all the images are on the screen, but the text isn't in the right spots. Oh, here we go. Oh. Well, that's not right. Uh, on the second uh, YGO Twitter, um, it would seem as though they are reprinting this. <laughs> uh, refresh again please it's been 7 minutes OCG you all should know the van list by now um. we still load what twitter page did you go to to find that because the two Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG Twitters and that Google search. recommends don't Man. have... Limit. 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 <clears throat> Alright, uh, cool. Because there's Done. pin posts here. They've got pin posts blocking up my feed. So yeah, Catapult Total and Kaiser Coliseum Band. Uh, uh, limited. Uh, Magic Spectre Unicorn. Beatrice. SP Little Knight. Uh, Snake Eyes Ash. Gimmick Puppet. 88. No, 40. Yep. Don't read into that. Uh, 10 by quick play. No, 10 by field. Okay. Summon limit. All to one. That's it? Yeah. So we've got more snake eyes coming in the OCG. <laughs> yeah. Ash. Beatrice to one. Because everyone was playing multiple. Uh, to two. Uh, all the dragon rulers. Quick fix. And bonfire. It's another minor consistency hit to Snake Eyes. Another yeah. minor consistency. So they've yeah. got one quick play, one ash, two bonfire. They're and they've still got max this, so you're still going to be drawing into your, like, these... Still, they they still can have, afford to go way lower this consistency. Yeah, they still have seven copies of Snake Eyes Ash in their deck. Yeah. And then limited... <clears throat> Glow Bulb, Ib, Colossus. Uh, this is Unlimited? Unlimited, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Predator Plant. Oh, it's just loaded for me. And Time Seal. The OCG's website is finally loaded. <laughs> Predator Plant, uh, Summon 1 is unlimited. Um, or for Scorpio? Yeah. Okay. Time Seal. Interesting. Yeah. Why, to like... I guess it doesn't do anything. It kind of does. Yeah. This ban list is terrible. It's... Yeah. It's pretty bad. Like, they still just have a bunch of snake eyes running around. Uh, yeah, and with only one Beatrice. So Beatrice is, has to go next list because, yeah. With that, uh, Yubel will live. Well, yeah, yeah. Because you only need one. And they put SP to one. I really... That's really a good move after they put it to two last ban list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, we don't have to play this part of the game, so it's very much a spectator sport here. But that's bizarre band list. Um, I am curious, though, as to whether or not, like, the cannon soldiers and whether or not 
um, Amazonas Archer are all at one, uh, all banned for them. Yeah, you would. Uh, so let's go. Because I mean, why why start there, right? Like, so how are you searching? If you hit one, <clears throat> if you had if you hit one, you have to hit them all. Uh, level five machine did. Any that machine support? Uh, it is. Uh, Amazon as Archer is banned in the OCG. So yeah, they've preemptively banned another card that you could use in six MFTK. Yeah. But. What, yeah. Like, I don't know how you're searching that in that deck. Because like you Alan Burshan to search any level four. Oh, what? This was cropped. It was cropped. Oh my lord! What else? Got no, there's banned? there's no way. What else has it's been not, banned? It's not banned. It's limited. Oh. Um, just refreshing on that on the actual page. I'm not going to get duped again. I made it to one page, but I didn't make it to the second page. Oh, the second. Oh, I've just loaded. Here we go. Um, Plush <clears> fire <throat> limited, along with Kieran, Beatrice. Sorry, so Sangin summoning was actually meant to be a semi limit. I'm pretty sure it. Uh, it's that formatting. It brought no, it up. No, it's not on the website. Cool, cool. All right. So this must be just so summon limit. Yeah. So number summon... forty. So Sangin summoning is definitely a one. Cool. All right. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're cool. We're cool. All the rulers. Yep. Quick fix. No. Bunch of cards. We finally loaded. Only to load this kind of shit ban list. Yeah, it is what it is. Sangin summoning. Wow, they've kicked. Still have Trident Dragy on. They still have Trident Dragy on, and they also still have the new card as well. But this this ban list doesn't just doesn't do enough. Nope. Nope, this is They're not. still going to have more Snake Eyes. I really want to see what the format is like for them with no Snake Eyes. Oh. We're not going to get that. Yeah. I still think that Fainsmith stuff's almost a similar power level for an engine now. Like, the interesting part is, like, you can just replace, like, what you're losing here with... Um, oh, Gimmick Pup is copping a stray. Oh, let's get an FTK deck. There's, yeah, but there's everyone else two, gets an There's two FTK hits here. Gimme Puppet and the yeah. Catapult Turtle. And Kaiser Coliseum for whatever the... That shouldn't have been legal in the first place for them. Yeah. Uh, it's good that they're finally learning. Um, do you reckon... Do you reckon they had Kaiser Coliseum legal because they were like, it's okay. We don't have Kieran. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I did think of that. You give them Kieran, they like, <laughs> take away the Kaiser Coliseum. Kind of both, both in the form at the same time. Can't both exist. <laughs> That's a good pull. That's a good pull. <laughs> so, this is the thing that crosses the line. We're giving back Kieran. We have to take the Kaiser Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, questions in the Discord. Yeah, I struggle with the name. Not the name, the blurb. Uh, that's all for the news. We'll be back now with different news OCG ban list uh, and questions later on no we'll do questions now but there's a hard cut that we're about to do yeah that's going to cut to us revealing the OCG ban list live yeah um, however questions later question time it is uh, time for questions I've just realised I don't have a way to check for questions do you have a way to check for questions sir uh, I don't know the blurb though uh, we have a we have a link to the Ask the questions in our Discord. The link is in the description. Yes. Feel free to come in, join us, and ask. Come in, join us, and ask. Catch it. In the description that's, below. That's exactly, the link that's to the exactly Discord. what Jake down there. Give the link a click. Join the Discord. Um, we, good Discord. We covered cutting your pizza with scissors, yeah? No. No. We covered cleaning the kitchen scissors. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, do you cut your pizza with a pizza cutter or a pair of scissors? I have pizza yep. cutter. <laughs> yeah. Um, In fact, I want a bigger pizza cutter. We just I'm, don't have a place to store it. I'm pretty sure this is related to the meme of I've seen where someone's just cutting a pizza with a pair of scissors. Which, uh, look, we've all been there. Big garden shears. <laughs> yeah, just... 
Look. Get a chainsaw out. <laughs> Look. Nah, your, your, your base wasn't that thick, but it was on the thicker side. Oh, Did every pizza base I make is thick. It's thick, but it doesn't make me feel shit, unlike other... I used to be a deep pan kid up until, you know, my body went, hey, stop that. It, yeah, it's because deep pan for most places is shit. Yeah. I make it to deep pan fresh. I miss the metabolism. It's a fresh. Crobat5 asks, how would you feel if Konami printed some more Sword Soul support in the future? Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, like, that were cool. Yeah, <laughs> like, they need a... Another synchro. Give them a seven synchro. Just so they're not making the other shit. Baron the sword soul. Yes. <laughs> it could sword be some... soul de fleur. <laughs> like, yeah, giving them a pro like a, an actual negate will be cute. Maybe go to a different number. Or we'll give them a level two. Yeah, go go low would be interesting. Give them a, a level two that special summons itself if you control a sword soul. Mm. That way you can go into the 10 off Moe. Yeah. Yeah. Ten off tight. Yeah. Already, already coming up with it. Yeah, we definitely... See, it's not good support, but you got support. And you get what you're given. All the leaders look cool. Sword Souls are great. That's why they had to kill Baron, I guess. I love Sword Soul. It's free. Free wow. wins. Yeah, it was free wins. Even Jake loves Sword Soul. Question from Crowbat5. What are your thoughts on running three Des Frog and one Des Croaking in a Water Frog deck? Are you playing? What's the What's the card break? I forgot the name of the card. Oh, when I think Des Croaking, I think D uh, playing Branded in High Spirits. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah. That's. Mm, maybe. That works. Yeah, where you can reveal D three S Frog and then summon Des Frog. I think so. Yes. Then I approve. Kind of a tab hole, man. Um, I don't know, Des Croaking, like, what is, it's just removal. You can, there's so many, there's heaps of, just play, just play Rigiki. It's not like that has spells and traps anyway. Just play Rona Doden. <laughs> this is so sad. Uh, and yeah, when I think Des Croaking, I think the Destiny Hero. Because I just shoved every, every, Des every I'm like, yeah, I'm going to run 40 spells, three, like, and then 10 ways to get to Diamond Dude. Off I go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and last question from Crowbar5 no he has one more later uh, what is your favourite non-Aussie takeaway fast food place to go to and get food non-Australian yes um, in Australia yeah and then we'll, we'll, we'll go elsewhere it's later. Carl's or son Carl's Jr um, yeah it's alright when you eat Those oh wait do you right. have to take it away oh sorry or can I eat um, it I know this is to go and get food, so you can you can eat there. If I'm eating there, it's definitely Carl's or Sun. Um, Does KFC count? I, don't, yeah, I think so. I that think waffle it's... that waffle double is like I've left it I've left it behind, but that would destroy me. I loved it. Uh, it looked really gross when oh. I saw Tom eating it. Oh, I was yeah, like, yeah. Mm, it's gross. That's not for me. It's gross, um, but it's good. So yeah, Carl's. Carl's Jr. because you get unlimited drinks, um, yep. so really enjoy enjoy eating there. Infinite Sprite. I normally will stop at the one on the way home from Penrith Regionals and stuff. Step stop there for dinner. Yeah, good um, times. Good times. I like those. Like, where's like, oh sweet, we're going to that tournament. We can do that. Yeah, we can go to Carl's Jr. We can go to Bathurst KFC. <laughs> we could go to fucking what? Well, yeah, Bathurst KFC on the way there, or you can eat Pizza Hut on the way back. Ah. Uh. That is the future. Um, For overseas? Uh, if I'm in another country, uh, Wendy's was pretty good. I haven't done a Wendy's. We don't get Wendy's here. I'm going to have Wendy's when we're in New Zealand next week. Catch me at Wendy's for a card signing. I love Shake Shack. Just bring the pen. Also, I'm not telling what Wendy's I'm at. <laughs> Shake Shack. Shake Shack is good. Well, I don't remember liking Shake Shack. Um, I more went to the, I more went to them in Singapore. Okay. Um, I don't... Oh, uh, no, Shaker Shack was really expensive in Japan. Yeah, I think I needed like, one. That's right, yeah, it was at Yokohama and it was like... Ugh. I went to Shake Shack in Osaka because it was quite close to our hotel and it was pissing down rain. So we're like, let's go to Shake Shack. It was... It was a lot of money. It tasted fine, but it was a lot of money. 
doesn't taste like the money. Like it's um nah, like considering everything else in that country is incredibly cheap. It's like TGI Fridays like, where it's just expensive for no good reason. Yeah. And it's like this 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 isn't a classy joint. I don't know what you're trying to do here. No. Like this is this is a franchise. Why would why do we have, why do franchises have expensive food? Ah. Uh, lunch, lunch special at Hooters. Good good go to in Japan. Never been to a Hooters. Do they run the full gimmick there or is it just not really. No. Yeah. It's a bit hard to have a Hooters in Japan. It's still like the full sports bar, like American sports yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Got like, yeah, it's like... It's got Japanese baseball on every TV. Oh, <laughs> That was the main reason I was there. I was like, you mean there's a lunch special and I can watch He's Japanese He's there for baseball? the baseball. Trust him. There's not really that much else to be there for. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 696 asks, uh, have you ever played a tournament on little to no sleep? Oh my god. Yep. Why? What deck were you playing? How'd you go? Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a good portion from, yeah, for about two, three years there, where I was doing night, like, every, every month I would be, have at least two night shifts, mm. where I'd finish at eight, and just go, I will just go into locals and wait till midday to play. <laughs> Like, what, I just, yeah, go to town, play it, then go to sleep in the evening. I I don't think I've ever had a good night's sleep before a YCS. Simply because I don't sleep well in the first night of a hotel. Yeah. Like, I'm in a hotel for a couple of days consecutively. It's great. The second, third night, I'm fine. The first night, I'm always, like, really disturbed, and disrupted, you know, can't really comfy. This year at YCS, my pillow wasn't the right thickness of pillow that I like. Yeah. Two pillows too thick, one pillow too thin. We're going to have to come up with a better sh- pillow strike. Uh, I never take a pillow. I'm, I'm not doing Ibis ever it. again. I'm not doing Ibis ever again. Regular Ibis? Are you budget Ibis? Budget. Okay, I, didn't oh, I, don't think, I don't think I'm going to do regular Ibis. Regular Ibis. Yeah. Yeah. That has to be a way. Stay, I'm, I'm, more, I'm more inclined to stay in the city. Yeah, this is a later. This is a later in the year thing. I, uh, think, I want to stay across the road from the venue. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It was really convenient this year. Yeah. Regular Ibis is good because you can go to the lobby and watch stuff on the TV. Enjoy the bar. Yeah, that was watching the horse game there. That was pretty cool. Mm. Uh, what decks was I playing? Oh, so around that time, that was Dragon Rulers. So that's, yeah, like, um, it helped that there was only about three or four of us playing, like, full powered decks. The rest mm. were just kind of people with structured decks trying to start their stuff. So it was just us kicking the shit out of them while. <laughs> and it's like, eh. Every now and then you'd have Sydney people come down and you've got to concentrate and oh. Yeah, actually one of them on bad sleep, I got a ruling wrong as well in a match that wasn't to do with me, so it didn't didn't affect me. But I was like, oh and it's like within like two minutes, I was sitting there going, Oh no, I'm a fucking idiot. I've gotten up and it's already done and I'm like, Oh, they're gonna be they're pissed at me. I need to sit down and do my judge course. I need to finish that. Yeah. Probably should go back over it. But yeah. That's what I Logan for. As soon as Logan went full in on that, I'm like, yes. Weaponize that. Your problem now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was only doing it because, you know, we needed someone because the store wasn't going to do it. Yep. Classic. Uh, yeah, so it was Dragon Rulers, basically. Bit of prophecy. What was the format after that? I had a better I had a better shift by the time the Cross came around, so that was easy. Fuck, what was after Dragon Rulers? Um, oh, Fire Fist and yeah. um, Fire Fist and Mermal. Oh yeah, God, losing. I lost to so many, like lost to Mermal so many times on no sleep. Yeah, hands. I, I loved that deck, <laughs> Karibo. Oh, Curry Bandit. Sorry, they call me the Bandit. <laughs> and the last question from Crowbat Five: If dual discs existed today, who would you duel with from the anime or real life, and where would you have that duel? I would love to duel Ben in the Snowy Mountains. Yeah. I know a location. And I have a dual disc. <laughs> uh, I duel Logan at the bunker. Ooh. Uh What decks I would choose with him, I don't know, but it'll be a, a grudge match once and for all. I'm going to shut that little bastard up. I would duel De- Jake on Sydney Harbour Bridge. Yeah, that would be C- cool. Closing it off to all traffic. <laughs> I mean... Just on the road. Just wait for oh, just wait for a protester to do something. Yeah. <laughs> he's going just it's time. Just off to the side. So it's like chaos and riots over here, and just up at the other end. You're like, let's go. 
It'd have to be the Chaos Jewel this week as well. And I would go the full Ori Calcos. I'll be like tempting that boy like <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> like, oh, exchange. Fall to the temptation. Heathen. I can't believe they banned those cards on the on the, the OCG ban list though. Yeah. Whatever will they do with I can't it's yeah. I can't believe they didn't hit Snake Eyes, they hit everything else. Yeah, it was yeah. wild. It was pretty wild. It's pretty wild. More wild of the wild thing happened. Now we're never gonna get tried in Dragio. Yeah. Can't believe they arrived at it. Goodbye.